Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? And finally, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle near Alt nearby Altstadt, and, like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped re the region flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of the occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So, that was long. So much for being in Germany. No, we are apparently in Prussia. Thanks for leading me on to that notion. Well, I don't know. Oh, here's another one. And here's another one. Now, what is the point of this? I don't know. You can never be too safe. Closet, 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 closet. <laughs> what just happened? Something loud, <laughs> and then I ran. Okay, I don't hear anything stomping around. What did it sound like? A roar, and then the door is open. Why is the door open? The door was locked. Uh, okay. Right. Move along. Another note. Hold on. Let's move along one real quick. Nope. Okay, a note. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handl handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the short forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would in a sense solve both of my problems. Okay. So, hopefully there's a uh, contingent of the king's men in the wine cellar. That'd be nice. I'm not sure Wilhelm is the king's man, though. I think the sheriff would be the king's man. What the fuck was that? Yeah, but... Alright, you know what? Uh... You know what? Screw it, we're running. Go, 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 go. Oh god, there's something in here. Uh, keep running, keep running. <laughs> Keep running, keep running! <laughs> oh my god, the walls are bleeding! Oh, and it hit me! What is going on? I don't know. Uh, that's not creepy. And there's more of a. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. So, how freaked out are you, Ben? Uh, let's see, heart rate's a little quick. 
Uh, um, I think I'm okay. That is red. Why is that red? It shouldn't be red. Let's check my health. I'm good. My sanity is... Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Uh, lots of oil, a couple tinder boxes, key to the wine cellar. All right. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, I think we're. <laughs> what was that? Well, what was that? Oh, that was wind. Okay. Okay, I guess it's time to go to the wine cellar, and we'll do that tomorrow, because, uh, you know, it's getting late, and other excuses that I can't come up with at this moment. <laughs> Scared. Well, a little bit. There was definitely, I swear, because I, did you hear it? I mean, I was walking, and then I started running, and then all of a sudden there was that noise, and it was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I heard it, somewhat. Somewhat, 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 yeah. Well, I definitely heard it, and it definitely scared the crap out of me. So, I think tomorrow, we will head into the wine cellar, and... We'll, uh... We'll find the stuff we need to burn that flesh off. Yay! Have a nice night, viewers. <laughs> Or at least try. <laughs>